Sarasota Tim shows just how unhappy he truly is. He shows that he is willing to give up everything and sacrifice his happiness for greed. Now, the first thing I want to do is I, we got to talk about this. I, I got to talk about this, uh, his freedom stick issue that, well, h- here, look, just, and pay attention the way he, you know, looks at the camera to make sure that he got his point across. This is how we're going to do it from now on. Put this away. I'm not looking towards it for any intruders this morning. Do you see this? Did you see that little glance over? Make sure, make sure that little, that little smirk, that little, that little look at the camera real quick. Did, did you see that? I mean, I, what, what is the point? What is, what's, what's the, I don't understand it, but anyway, that's, that's our, that's our boy, Tim. That's how we're going to do it from now on. Make sure everybody say. I don't, I'm I'm confused, but anyway, oh oh yeah, and before I uh, 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 go on, it's a tripod. It's not a selfie stick. It's it's a it's a tripod, and it's not a new invention. See, there's Tim goes again, acting like this. Oh wow, I have this thing. This this you see how this thing works? Yeah, it moves up and down, and you can put, and it has feet that that three of them. Maybe that's why it's called a tripod. But yeah, these three feet come out and see it's sturdy and I can just set it down and move it. And it's, it's amazing. Tim, Tim, it's nothing new. Everybody's been using for years. You just finally got one at the ripe old age of damn near dead because we're all going to die at 73. Remember? So you just found out the wonders of a tripod and you got to make a, Oh, look how this guy's thing works. Like we don't know. Everyone's not as stupid as you are. All right, now let's talk about Tim giving up everything for this this hope and and dream. Okay, let's just let's just think about it for a moment. Now, when when Tim was at Teddy and Jolene's and he was kicking back on the chair there along the water, watching the boats, telling everybody about his property and his neighborhood and his little place, he was just happy as a lark. And he just loved Miss Jolene. And, oh, she made the best salads ever. She even put rash. I mean, he was just happy as can be. Skipping along. Everything was just grandiose. I mean, he lived in his little his little teardrop. He pissed in a bottle and put that bottle right by his head at night when he slept. And he just cuddled up to that nice warm piss. And it kept him nice and cozy. But he was happy as a lark, wasn't he? Then he decided he was going to. Hitch his little wagon, and he was going to go out west. That's right. He was going to be like the <laughs> like the settlers, like the first frontier people. Yeah, he's not going to stay out here, you know, like when they came over. Boom. Oh, yeah, we're not staying here on the East Coast where everybody settled. We're going wagons ho. We're going westward. And that's what Timmy did. He went westward, just like our original travelers. <laughs> he took off to the west. And he was still happy. He was just bouncing along. And I mean, oh, come on. His his little truck stop and, and rest area adventures. Oh, he was so happy. He was just pulling out. He was, hey, how you doing? Say so, Tim. Check me out on the YouTubes. And he wore his little hat and he was cooking his steak. He was just skipping along happy as can be. And then he got out there to Laughlin and other places. And he started making friends and meeting up with people. And, and and he just he made all kinds of new friends to take advantage of. I mean, he left Jolene and and Teddy there, so he had to make new friends to take advantage of. And he did. He hitched his wagons to some folks, and he was staying in the finest rooms in the casinos, and he was eating in the in the casinos, eating the big dinners, and having steaks and lobster, and he was just having a great time. And he was smiling. He was skipping her along. And he was wearing his little different costumes. He turned into Cowboy Tim, and then he turned into Golfer Tim, and he turned. And he was just having a great time. He was going out golfing, and he was doing all kinds of stuff. I mean, it was the same stuff. He was still going to to stores, but at least he was buying his new little little costumes. 
you know, he was just like a like a little kid, you know, just buying costumes. But he was going around and, you know, different Walmarts and <laughs> different places to buy the best cup of coffee he ever drank. And he would just walk around the same place, just showing us everything and giving us tour. Oh, look at that. That's a river. That's water in that river. That's the best river I ever seen in my life. And he was just, it's just the best place. And we're driving through neighborhood. Oh, look at the roofs on the, these are good roofs. You can tell it's a good neighborhood. And he was having a blast. He was doing his crushing it for Christ videos. He was preaching, telling everybody how to live. You got to get up and make your bed. But before you even get up to make your bed, you got to praise God. You got to do all this good stuff. He was telling everybody everything. And he was just happy as can be. He was just raking it in. The videos were getting views and he was getting by me a coffee, his hand over fist and people were sending him money because, oh, I don't want, I looked at these shirts and they were really expensive. So I guess I got to go to Walmart. Oh no, Timmy, don't go to Walmart. No, no, no. We're going to send you lots and lots of money so you can go get those expensive shirts. And Timmy was just having a blast. He was having fun. I'm never going back to Florida. He said, it's hot. It's humid. It's 120 degrees here, but it's different. I'm not going back to Florida. It's horrible there. It's the most disgusting, humid, hot place. Never going back there. Then all of a sudden, Miss Tammy's coming. And we're going to have a collaboration. Not a relationship. We're having a collaboration. So Tammy shows up for the big collaboration. And everything changed like that. There was no more naked videos in front of the windows with the blinds up. No, put your pants on, Tim. There was, there was no more talking about moving and finding a place and moving to there, to the best place ever in the country, out there, away from Florida. That, that talk, done. Silliness. Now, due to this new collaboration, where does Tim find himself? Back in Sarasota. But now, since he's there, coming to you from... Wonderful, awesome, beautiful, best place on the planet, Sarasota, Florida. Yeah, now it's great, but he's back there. That's right, the place he vowed never to return. That's where he's at. And what else? No more Crushing It for Christ videos. Well, he does it when Tammy's not around. And then sometimes when he sneaks off and to go get her her zing in the morning, he'll do a quick one in the car. But no, no more. No more crushing it for Christ. The blinds are down. That's right. We're not, we're not filming out the windows anymore. We're not going over and showing you the toilets and the showers. We're not taking tours of everything. There's no more tours of the Flagstaff outside. There's no more walking around it and telling us how great it is. And Look at this parking lot. This is the best parking lot I ever parked at in my entire life. No more of that. No more grilling outside. No more cowboy steaks outside next to the flag staff out there on the blacktop parking lot. Nope. Now he's just grumpy. A zing fetcher. A water bottle crusher. Because he knows it annoys her. And he can't, he can't talk loud in the morning because she's not a morning person. He gets up at the crack of dawn and he wants to make videos, folks. Because he knows the folks are out there waiting. They're waiting patiently. And if he doesn't make a video... He's going to get texts and emails and everything, wondering where Tim is. So he's got to get up, folks, and make that video. But he has to be quiet because everything changed when the big collaboration started. And now, now Tim has a break. Tammy's gone. And what does he do? I mean, you can see the smiles come back. And what does he do? He can, he can get out his costumes again and be happy. Sure do. Let me introduce him to you. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Cowboy Tim. Yeah, I just flew in yesterday from Bullhead City, Arizona. I heard uh, Sarasota Tim was playing Bachelor this week. Oh, boy. So I thought I'd come down here and uh, check out Florida, take a look and see what it's about, visit him. And, uh, man, I'm heading back to the desert. This is hot down here. This is humid. I don't even think I can wear this, these, uh, these jeans, these boots. It's going to be too hot. I think it's going to be like 92 today, but they got a lot of humidity. That Timmy, he's a card. That's some funny stuff right there. I don't care who you are, that there Timmy. You see how he did it there? He, he, was, he was Tim Tim. He was Sarasota Tim and introduced Cowboy Tim. Wasn't that, 
That was clever. That was pretty clever. And just like, remember when you was little? And, and, and I don't know, maybe you didn't do it, but remember when you were little and you, you go to school and you come home and then on the weekends, what'd you do? I, you, you got your little, you got your little suit on, you got your little costume, you got a little cowboy hat, you got your little, your little belt on and you had your little cap gun, six shooters, pop, 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 pop. Yeah. And you put them on and you, you even, sometimes you even had some boots if you were lucky and you put your little cowboy boots on and you went out in the yard and you were cack, 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 with your little cap gun, your little six shooters on your side. Oh yeah. Remember that? Well, that's what happens when, uh, when, when Miss Tammy goes and it's just little old Timmy all by himself. The little boy comes out and he can play dress up and, and he can be happy and he can smile and he can do silly things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just think it's so funny. And he, he, you know, just like a, a like a, a female would do, you know, Hey, look, I got this new outfit and she puts it on and goes and miles it for the camera and stands in front of the mirror and looks and everything and then goes back and changes into another one and comes out and look at this that's what timmy does comes out in his cowboy boots and his jeans and a little cowboy hat he stands in front of the mirror and the camera and he's got to make us <laughs> you gotta love it you gotta love it but look does he do that shit when tammy's around no 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 he tells everybody get out there and live you gotta live folks can know his problems tomorrow but he gave up everything for greed he gave it all up just for the, the prospect of money. It wasn't even there yet. It was just the, the hope, the dream, the prospect of money. He gave up everything. Just think about it. Timmy had these big plans. When he was out west, he loved it out there. He kept telling everybody how great it was. He was moving out there. He's going to find a place. That's right. When the collaborator got there, they were going to live out there. They were going to find a place. Everything was going to be great. I'm never going back to Florida. I don't have to go back here. I love it out here. I'm even asking God to make this blessing come true. I remember him saying that in his car, in the truck. He, I'm, I'm willing. I'm asking God to get me a place out here. I remember that video. And now I'm not going to go rifle through his 10,463 videos just in the last two months to find it. All that's out the window now. It's gone. Poof. Everything's gone away. I mean, he just gave it all up. And now the only thing left is, I would really like this car. Once Miss Tammy's lease is up, I want her to get me this one. But everything just out the window. So all those promises of travel and excitement and being out west and doing this and doing that and everything and never going back to Florida, after all that went to shit, now he's back in Florida and he's making more promises. That's right. He's smiling and he's trying to put on the smile, but he's grumpy as shit. He started watching TV and he's all, rah, 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 rah. he's mad about the world and everything's horrible and this and that. And, and he's going on and he's promising, well, I'm telling you folks, Exciting content, folks. Stuff that everybody's going to like, folks. We're going to Disney, and we're doing this, and we're going to do that. And guess what? Nothing. Boom. Nothing. Nothing exciting. Nothing new. No Disney video. Didn't even go there. Everything went out the window. And again, nothing more new and exciting. It's still what? Coffee videos and going to Walmart. Nothing changed. He even said to him and Miss T, we're going to look for a place here. Oh, we're going to a condo, a house, or whatever, an apartment. Wow, well, yeah, we're doing that. Oh, oh, no, folks. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you. I'm about to make me a, a, a real estate video because I'm going to tell you what. Yeah, the real estate market is, and we're not doing that. No, everything went out the window. Everything. Every little possible. Look, Tim saw the potential for money and made all these big plans. He gave up all his dreams, all his chance to live because no one's promised tomorrow. He gave everything up and ran back to Florida for what? Nothing. Not a damn thing. The smile got wiped off his face and nothing. None of his little dreams came to fruition. No house, no condo, no travel. No excitement. A cruise. A cruise. That's it. He gave up 
his rest stop adventures, his truck stop tours, and all his costumes for a cruise. I'm thinking the adulterous preacher should give a sermon on coveting and greed. Then on top of everything, and to add insult to injury, Tim gave up everything and came back just to be excluded from every single family gathering and event. Cut out. Excluded. Done. Miss T's birthday. We're talking Christmas, Thanksgiving, anything. Kid's birthday, whatever. Whatever Miss T runs home for, guess who's not included? That's right. He gave up everything. Everything. For the chance at some money that doesn't seem to be popping up into his future right now because nothing has changed. Actually, that little smile and that little skip in a step, it all went away. His little, instead of turning his frown upside down, he turned his smile upside down. You see, Tammy's kids, they, they don't want Mr. Films every fucking thing and tells everybody's business. They don't want him around because that's what he does. He films every damn thing. He'll put them little kids, will put their faces on the internet. He'll put their address, their driveway, what time they come and go, what kind of car they drive, everything in their house. He'll put all that shit out on the internet for everybody to see. And they don't want that. They, everybody doesn't want that shit. Tim sticks a camera in anybody's face. He doesn't care who he films at Walmart. We've seen that video where he's walking through the bar just filming everybody. And, and that one guy was not, oh, that guy's not happy. But he, he thinks everybody's just there for, for him and his pleasure and his fucking enjoyment. He, he has no, no sense of anything except him. But they're like, no, we don't want that goofy clown around here. And I'm going to tell you what, this, this really annoys me. And it, it came back to light again in, in Lollive Oil's uh, recent video. But when Tim said, I'm their grandpa, I'm Papa Tim or whatever, and I'm their adopted grandfather. No, no, you weren't. Their grandfather was still alive at the time, you flat-headed moron. That shit disgusts me to come stepping in and saying you're somebody's grandfather when you got nothing to do with them children when their grandfather is still alive. He's still alive. He is still their grandfather. He is totally capable of being their grandfather. You're a nobody. For you to come in there and impose your will and step in there and, and self-proclaim yourself as some kind of grandfather, adopted, you didn't adopt shit. You didn't even take care of your own damn kids or how many wives you had. So for you to step in there and say that shit, that shit annoys the hell out of me for some reason. But yeah, just knock it off, you big pinhead. But anyway, he ain't allowed to go there. He doesn't go there. So he's uh, just stuck there at home by himself and his little cramper or crasher or crusher or whatever the fuck. But when Tammy goes, he calls it his bachelor life. Well, he's still boring as hell. He still talks about shit that he has no clue about, but still gives advice. He's still doing nothing new or exciting that anyone would even call living like he tells everybody to do tim keeps saying he needs some board shorts for this cruise well tim just go get any old pair of shorts and put them on and i'm sure they'll be bored they'll be bored as fuck if they're on your ass let's face it he's not doing anything every other person is doing retired or not he's not doing anything anything exciting or new anybody can get up and make breakfast and coffee anybody can go to walmart four times a day anybody can drive their truck to the car wash anybody can do that stuff retired working or not he's doing nothing exciting to be i oh, retired get out there and live and collect that free he's not living shit he's not doing a damn thing he's still mind numbing and desperate for his community's attention but Without Tammy, the bullshit artist is at least happy. He's still boring. He's still all, he's still nothing. He's still Walmart Tim and best cup of coffee Tim. He's still bullshit artist Tim, but at least he's not grumpy ass Tim. He's not going off the deep end Tim. So what I want you to do is I want you to pay attention when Tammy returns, just watch 
how his demeanor changes from now. Mr. Hey, I'm Cowboy Tim back and I came to visit Sarasota Tim and hey, look at my boots and look at my sexy jeans and hey, look at this and look at that and I'm going to go do this folks and this folks and he's bouncing around and he's talking loud and he's drinking his water and he's doing whatever he wants to. Watch how his demeanor changes when she comes back. Watch how he becomes a miserable old fuck. What we do here is go back, 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 back.